If you want to be an even brown babe this summer, stop playing with yourself and get this. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is day two of my 100 day vlog challenge, so welcome back. Literally, my products change from time to time. There are like some products that I don't really change out much, but I just thought I would show you what I'm currently doing. First, let's break down like what kind of skin I have. I have extremely, extremely oily skin. Not just like combination, I'm talking about my whole entire face, except for under my eyes, get extremely oily. Really large pores, as you can see right here. Extremely large pores, really bad hyperpigmentation, which has gotten a lot better. Like all right here. That is because I have PCOS and I develop hirsutism. Look it up on Google, okay? But right now, my skin is breaking out, which is very abnormal for me. And I think I know why. It's because I've been eating a lot of um, fried plantain, like, every day for breakfast. I know, I know. I shouldn't, but it just tastes so good. I really want to eliminate these breakouts that I have going on here. I have one right here. I have one on my chin, which is very odd because I normally don't break out on my chin. This is Urban Skin Rx, um Resurfacing Vitamin C Cleansing Bar, and it has niacinamide, lactic acid, and kojic acid. Not only is it good for fading the dark spots and even in my skin tone, but it's going to also help with my breakouts, even though it doesn't have salicylic acid in it. These um, actives also do target acne. So this is what it looks like. One thing I realized is that most people don't know how to wash their face properly. So I'm gonna show you how to wash your face the right way. So what you wanna do is you want to make sure that your face is wet with water, but make sure your skin is nicely damp. Now what you wanna do is make sure that your cleanser is actually in your hands, you're rubbing it together and it's setting up. Not when it's thick and you don't see any bubbles. We need bubbles. So add water into your cleanser and start rubbing it between your hands until you start seeing actual suds. That's when you know it's ready to go on your face. But since my cleanser is not a liquid cleanser, it's a bar, I'm gonna do the same exact thing with this. I'm gonna keep rubbing it until I see some bubbles. Tell me when you got back. Now my skin is dry and I'm gonna go ahead and follow up with a toner. So I'm not gonna double cleanse tonight because again I didn't wear makeup today. I'm gonna follow up with a toner after the toner serums. So I'm gonna be using the Anwa Hartley 77% toner. My skin is currently peeling because I'm doing retinol, so I just have to be mindful of that and not put too many actives on my skin so it doesn't irritate it or mess up my skin barrier. Alright, so now I'm just going to let that dry. I'm going to go in with another layer. My skin is very hydrated. So now I'm gonna go in with the Niacinamide Serum. This one is from Anua. It's a dark spot correcting serum and I highly recommend this. A little goes a long way. It does tingle a little bit. It's literally just a slight tingling situation. And then I just like to pat it into my skin. It takes about an hour for all your skincare products to fully absorb into your skin, but right now my niacinamide serum has dried on my skin. For my eye cream, I've really been obsessed with this House of Joseon eye cream. All the products that I use, I'm gonna link them below, but this eye serum or eye cream, whatever you wanna call it, it's so good. You don't even need this much, honestly. And it's a big bottle, it's gonna last you a really long time, it's affordable, and it actually works. I have really bad hollow bags under my eyes, like they go in, so I look sick, like I'm dying. It's been helping, it's been helping, it's been helping 
so much when i wake up in the morning i see a huge difference i don't know if there's caffeine in this like i'm not really sure but all i know is the girls on tiktok they was right about this one i've really been obsessed with this it cosmetic confidence in a gel cream so hydrating like it feels like silk like butter on the skin i normally use this every night but tonight i'm thinking i should try something new this is the true cream aqua bomb by belief this is what it looks like I know this is gonna be hydrating. It is so juicy. Let's see which one competes. Oh, oh, I just feel like my face literally drank so much water. I'm not even dragging it. I really feel like my face just drank a whole lot of water. Mmm. -hmm. And it's not sticky either. It's not thick. It's really lightweight. Ooh. It feels good. Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is literally my real reactions of using the aqua bomb. So good. Wow. Look at my skin. I, I keep my skin simple, especially when I know that it's going through a lot, like with the retinol and everything. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my red light therapy. And this is the solo wave. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just drag this across my face. This really, really helps with my under eye bags. I don't know what it does exactly, but I do know that it does increase more production of collagen, targets dark spots. So if you have hyperpigmentation, this is what you want to do. And it's good with preventing fine lines and wrinkles. I noticed I was starting to get like those lines here and I was like, mm-mm. <laughs> but I freaked out. I bought this wand and I was like, no, we're going to make sure we don't get no lines there, honey. And it actually works. So I just do this in at night and when you do this regularly daily you will see a difference you absolutely will see a difference but you just have to be consistent with it and in but a few minutes honestly i can't wait to get the full mask for my face it's gonna be a wrap this is really good for acne as well so if you have acne breakouts you want to put this wand on it got that pump right there I just kind of want to go over it and you'll see in the morning that it went down and that is my nighttime skincare routine as of late i'll see y'all in the morning what is the ass como estas como amaneciste how y'all doing how y'all woke up day two we in here. Yes, I am a morning person. Don't judge me. So, um, yeah, this is my face, literally. I have like, um, mm, we gotta get rid of that. My under eye bags. It's not as bad as it normally is, but I'm not gonna hold you, y'all. I really would like to get filler, just a little bit, just under my eyes to like, this is so ugly. <laughs> I hate them so much. But I'm blessed to be alive. Life is good. I have such a beautiful view of my outside of my. I can see the mountains. I cleaned my room yesterday. I didn't even put it in the vlog because the vlog was just getting really long yesterday. I need to make sure I talk less. But yes, I did clean my room. My room is clean now, and I don't want to put nothing in it. Just got my candles by my bedside, my water, because when I'm going through stuff, it reflects in my room. I'm actually a very, very neat person, but when I am going through like serious turmoil internally, it reflects in my room. So I'm literally editing my entire day and then putting it out. But I gotta be smarter. Work smarter, not harder, you feel me? Let's go stretch and do day two of my ab challenge.
get into my morning skincare routine. Actually, I'm gonna shower first because you should never do your skincare before you shower. Don't do it, don't do it. So I'm gonna shower first and then we'll come back. Y'all, I have to, <laughs> listen, I know this is not a body care routine, but I really have to tell you guys about this product. Like, I gotta, I gotta, put, you, I gotta put you on, sis, I gotta put you on. First of all, this lip balm, oh my gosh. If you guys haven't tried this lip balm, I need you to go and get this lip balm. It literally competes with my top lip balm of all time. That's the Clinique Moisture Surge lip balm. Competes with it. Like, they go toe to toe. My lips are so juicy, honey. And it's so soft and it's hydrating. And even when it, you know, because eventually it will wear off, my lips stay hydrated for hours. I know y'all seen this all over TikTok, all over Instagram. It's the L'Occitane Shower Oil. Baby, let me tell you something. This oil is wealth in a bottle, okay? You smell like money. What's in this bottle can break generational curses. This bottle is literally generational wealth. It it smells like, mm, I got multifamily homes and my child has a trust fund. That's what it smells like. It smells like luxury. It smells like more money, no problems. Okay, that's what it smells like. Moving on. The last product I'm gonna put y'all on, this even tone smoothing body treatment. If you have keratosis, if you have hyperpigmentation on your body, if you just want to be an even brown color and still maintain your melanin, still protect your melanin, cause we don't bleach over here, baby. You need this, you need this lotion. It helps with texture, the body serum you want to put. And this body serum is also extremely hydrating. After I put this on, I don't even need to follow up with an oil or a lotion. Like if you want to be an even brown babe this summer, stop playing with yourself and get this. <laughs> <laughs> stuff is so good and it's unscented so if you have sensitive skin look it's so hydrating look at this glow and it's healthy it's not greasy it's just delicious it's deliciously healthy and hydrating what i like to do is drink some water because i'm really bad at drinking water but we're changing that so i'm not going to say that anymore i drink water all the time that's why i'm gonna start saying i drink water all the time when i wake up in the morning I ice my face and then I go straight into my toners and serums. I don't use another soap because I'm drying my skin out. I'm just gonna rinse my face off with water with no soap. So I do not use little towelettes that accumulates bacteria. And the pimple that I had last night is already shrunk. Now I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy eye cream. House of Joseon eye cream. If you haven't tried it, this stuff is so good. My under eyes look before I started using this eye serum and how they look like now, big difference. Because we're fading dark spots, I am going to use my, my nice and my 10% THA 4% dark spot correcting serum. I alternate between this and the other one that I'm about to mention is the Urban Skin RX dark spot correcting serum. That one is extremely good. It has kojic acid, niacinamide, retinol, like it has everything to fade like it really fades this dark spot right here i'm gonna insert footage of what it looked like before and what it looks like now so i've been using and my dark spots have has faded so much in the span of almost two months you know dark spots take more than two months to fade again the moisturizers i highly recommend are the it cosmetics confidence in a gel cream and the true cream aqua bomb i believe Get yours at Solar Wave. This is what it looks like. And then my last step for my skincare today is to add an SPF 50 because we have been, I have been using retinol, I've been using niacinamide, kojic acid, and these are ingredients that you really need to protect your skin from. So I'm just putting a little bit of this sunscreen that I really like. It's the L'Oreal Bright Reveal sunscreen, it's the SPF 50. 
that's the only way you're going to be able to actually see your dark spots fade. Your cleanser needs to target dark spots. Your serums need to target dark spots. If you use a toner, that needs to target dark spots. Your moisturizer and your sunscreen need to aid in that as well. So that's how I've been able to fade my dark spots fairly quickly. Okay, and that is my morning skincare routine. I'll see y'all tomorrow in my next video. Bye.